and 16 10 millimeter socket into this lower bracket do four bolts of the upper engine mount two of them are 16 millimeter socket and two 13 millimeter socket remove fuel filter housing use 10 millimeter socket and T25 bit to detach coolant expansion tank Remove this small mount bracket of the pressure differential sender and detach this particular filter. This clamp and brackets. So undo nut and detach this small bracket. Next you need to remove clamp between turbo and particular filter. And then uh, disconnect this exhaust temperature sender. Undo lower mount of the particular filter from the block. You can detach this mount bracket only from the block. Now at this point you can jack up the engine a little bit and move it in this direction. So you will have more space to remove some pipes and remove turbocharger. Upper engine mount stays attached to the engine. Don't remove it, only undo bolts. And also you can put something between this bracket and car body. Yes. Next undo bolts of the EGR pipe. Upper ones from the manifold. And on the way you can also undo this bolt of the outlet pipe. Also you will need to detach some other pipes, oil outlet pipe, bungee bolt, 27mm wrench, oil inlet pipe mount bolt, next undo lower bolts of the EGR pipe, use it 30 bit and remove it. Unscrew following bolts, oil inlet mount bolts, oil outlet mount bolts and oil outlet from the turbo. Undo from the block bungee bolt of the oil inlet pipe. Also undo this oil inlet pipe nut on the top of the turbo. Without all those pipes it will be looking like this. This part is removable from the oil return line. Now remove some air hoses, air hoses. Need to unplug this connector. Remove this hose clamp. Remove hose clamp.
over there. Squeeze this, press on both sides. To remove PCV ventilation hose. And remove this. Next, you need to undo this bolt. Rotate clockwise and remove. Next, remove heat shield. Use the 30 socket bit. Need to remove all these bolts. T30, of course. Now detach air charge pipe. Undo nuts of the turbocharger manifold and use 12 millimeter socket. Usually these nuts are doing very easily. Now I undo only upper bolts of the EGR pipe, of the second one EGR pipe. So it will move and you can remove the turbocharger. So if you don't undo these upper bolts of the GR pipe, the exhaust manifold will rest against this pipe and you won't be able to remove turbocharger. You can undo only upper bolts of this EGR pipe, that will be enough. And voila! Now move turbo to the left a little bit and remove it. One more time I uh, will show you this removal, but it's from the old track Passat video. And basically everything is the same except the core of the turbo. It has different inlet outlet pipes and vacuum actuator. It's different and it's a little bit different turbo what can i say not much but different and engine from slip back in place i put some wooden brick in between and that's it so this is how it looks like it's failing turbo. And this is how it looks this particular filter. It's side, it's a little bit dirty, but it will be good. Thanks for watching and I hope you get it.